Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakak Kodash. Double honor to the apostles, the bishop, and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation to the elect, which starts with 144,000, which are the prophets of the Lord, and also you men, women, and children who will believe on Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, through the words of the prophets, I say salutations and salute. First and foremost, the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. The name of the only begotten Son, our Lord, King, and Savior is Yahweh Shai, and they are the power of the Israelites. And today there will be the so-called Negro, so-called Latino, so-called Native Americans, and also you speckled bird Israelites, you Israelite foreigners who will look like the other nations. But your spirit and bloodline goes back to the forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This Bible is for you. And with that being said, I want to get into a quick lesson. The Lord will is edifying, all right? And I'm going to get straight to it, man. I saw this video on the brother page, uh, Holy Bible Defenders, all right? And uh, you see this group on the page, on the screen right here. These guys are false prophets, man. All right, I'm not even going to play the video, but it says the title was The Worst Israelite Teachers. Esau can repent. That's not what the Bible says, and that's true, man. No heathen can repent. All right? First and foremost, only repentance was only given to the nation of Israel. All right? That's what the Lord came to do, right? The Lord came to save what? His people from what? Their sins. Okay? Matthew 1 and 21. All right, and this is, hey, you know we at the end, man. There's a lot of false prophets out here, man. All right, where, where, where do these guys come from, man? Right? These guys are false prophets, man. It's just madness every day you wake up, man. Okay? Matthew 1 and 21. And she shall bring forth a son. Who is the she? It's talking about Mary. And Joseph and Mary had sex, Okay? And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai, right? For he shall save his people from their sins. Who are the Lord's people? The Israelites, all right? Let's look up this word people, okay? Look the word people up. Look at the word save. So save is Strong's G4982. Sozo. 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 Sozo means safe. To save, keep safe and sound. To rescue from danger or destruction. It says to save a suffering one from perishing. Example, one suffering from disease. To make well, heal, restore to health. To preserve one who is in danger of destruction. To save or rescue. Okay. Look at this strong definition to save example, deliver or protect, preserve. OK, that's what the Lord, the Lord name is an omen nomen. All right. Who is it? His people. Right. This is a word for people. Strong's G 2992. Laas. 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 Check this out. A people, people, group, tribe, nation. All those who are of the same stock and language. I'm going to read that again. <laughs> All those who are of the same stock and language. All right. Strong definition. Which denotes one's own populace. Look at the word populace up. It says... Populist, the people living in a particular country or area, population, people, okay. Commonality, the, stat the state of sharing features or attributes, okay, I like that, okay. Let's go back. So it was an omen, omen, right? That the Lord would save his people from their sins. Let's look up the word omen, omen. Omen, omen. It says the Latin phrase, nomen s omen, translate to the name is the sign. Okay? It says, uh, let me see. 
Some say that if people believe in this saying, they might choose a first name that combines words that relate to their wishes for their child. For example, parents who want their child to be a thoughtful friend might choose the name Danquin. Let me see. Uh, okay, I like this. Nomen S. Omen is Latin. For a name is a sign. That is, it means that a name represents what a person who bears it is like. And the Lord's name itself means he's, he's, um, he delivers. He's coming to save his people from their sins. Not the whole world, man. Okay? And remember, the Lord doesn't change. I don't know why you Jake's always... That's how the man, the Lord said his people are sodish. Sodish means stupid. Here it is. The salvation... It's for Israel. Repentance is for Israel. The kingdom of heaven is for Israel. But yet you have Israelites that are speaking, right? These lies trying to save all nations when the Lord himself didn't come for all nations. He's never known these nations. The Lord never changed. He made a covenant with a certain group of people, the Israelites, not all nations. And he doesn't change. That's a characteristic of your how about Shimei I was shy. So where are you getting this from? And no matter how many scripts you try to mangle or try to figure out, or I got one, I got one, they, they're gonna they ain't gonna deal with this one. Hey, it still isn't gonna add up, man, because you're teaching falsely. When it talks about Gentiles and it has anything to do with salvation, it's talking about Israelites, man. Remember, we would <laughs> let me get this right quick. I'm not surprised though, man. At these bug outs, man. All right? I'm not surprised. You're going to have more and more of them, man. That's how you know we're at the end. 1 Corinthians 12 and 2. It says, ye know. Now, this is a letter that Paul wrote to the Corinthians. The Israelites that's in Corinth. All right? When Paul was writing those letters to the Gentiles, he was writing to the Israelite foreigners, man. Okay? 1 Corinthians 12 and 2. Ye know that ye were. Ye were. Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were led. All right, we strayed away from the Heavenly Father, we became a Gentile man. Okay, we was in the congregation of the dead, as it's written. It said, He did a part of my friend. Let me get that right quick. It's simple, man. <laughs> okay. Bear with me. Let me type it in for a second time. Wait a minute, let me try this. Why do you help by Shimei Shah? It says, The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. And that's what happened to the Israelites, man. We strayed away from the Lord, okay? We became like the heathen, man. We became beasts, okay? We became beasts, Gentiles, all right? Strange, okay? And really, you got to go, really, you can, you got to really go back to the history, man, right? During the time of the, uh, the Greece, the Grecians, okay? We were Hellenized, man, all right? And Antiochus, he had made a, a a law that it was un, it was um unlawful to serve Yahweh Shem Shai, man. We couldn't call ourselves Israel. Israel was getting put to death. And you had Israelites fleeing, man. You had those that uh that willingly denounced the Lord. You had those that was killed for uh, uh trying to hold on to the laws of the Lord. And you had those that were forced convert. They was forced converted over, man. You know, forced with death, and they just converted. And we were spread throughout the four corners of the, of the known world at that time, man. And took on the ways of the heathen, man. Became uncircumcised. Physically. Right? Even mentally. But that's what that's talking about. That's how we became heathens, man. And then even during the time of 70 AD, which this is all history, man. And even during that time, you had a scattering. Again. All right, so we as a people, man, we just been mixed and mingled amongst all nations, man, and lost our way, man. 
And especially in this time now, according to Jeremiah the 17th chapter, the Lord said we would discontinue from our heritage. Because every other captivity, right? The Lord, we always knew that we were Israel. And this is the only captivity where we were totally, totally just stripped. But now, as it talks about in Baruch the second chapter, let me hold that on deck. The Lord is waking his people back up because, as a matter of fact, I'm just read it. Right? It's Baruch 2. And 30, it said, for I knew that they would not hear me. It's talking about the, the nation of Israel, right? Matter of fact, I'm going to start at 28. Baruch 2 and 28. As thou spakest by thy servant Moses in the day when thou didst command him to write the law before the children of Israel, saying, if ye will not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations where I will scatter them. You see? That's part of the curses, man. The Lord is going to scatter us everywhere. All right? When you go into the history, it shows how the Lord, how that end up happening, man. Okay? Running from the enemy, man. It say, verse 30, For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff-necked people, but in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. And that's what you see happening. This is a miracle. Okay? The Lord is waking his people up. Verse 31. And shall know that I am the Lord their power. For I, who? Yahweh Hashem Shai. For I will give them in heart and ears to hear. See, the Lord has to open your eyes up to this truth, man. Remember, the Lord set back that remnant. Okay? He said he would give passes according to his heart that shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And that's what you see happening in this time. The Lord sent back the, the remnant, man. He sent back the prophets. And it started with Abba Bimis, man, who was Elijah coming back in the spirit. All the men of the Lord who followed Yahweh Shai back then are back in this time and they're teaching the truth, man. Okay? If you can receive it, reincarnation is part of the Bible. It say, 33, and return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds. For they shall remember the way of their fathers with sin before the Lord. And that's why you see men repenting, man. Because we were those fathers, man. And now we're acknowledging our sin and returning back to Yahweh Hashem Shai, begging for mercy, man. And that mercy was only given and promised to the nation of Israel. And even within that, it's talking about the elect. Because only the, the Lord's only coming back to save the elect. It's all about the elect. That's why you see a lot of people teaching these false doctrines. They can't get it, man, because why are they not of the elect? The Lord, as we read in Baruch, the Lord has to give you a heart and ears to hear, man. You can't make yourself wise. Wisdom come from Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Understanding of these scriptures come from Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Faith come from Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? Romans 11 and 7. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for. But the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. You see, a lot of these guys teaching, man, they don't even know what they're teaching. But you know what? The Lord set up the false prophets so he can, what? Uh, uh, the ones he don't want, they can be given over to that stumbling block, man. Nowhere in the scriptures it talks about the heathens can be saved. If it does talk about a heathen man saved, that's an Israelite. Okay? Once again, let's go back. Remember, the Lord's name is an omen nomic. He came to save his people from their sins. Remember, the Lord don't change. Let's get that right quick. Neither the Heavenly Father don't change, and the Lord don't change, man. Let's read both of them. Like father, like son, man. Malachi 3 and 6. For I am the Lord, Yahweh. I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob... Are not consumed. We're not destroyed, man. That covenant the Lord made with our forefather Abraham, he's still under that covenant today. That's why we're being awakened, man. He promised. The Lord kept, he kept, he made it, he promised and kept, he's going to keep his word that he promised with the forefather Abraham. That he would make him a great nation. At the sand of the sea, man. This is all about a promise that the Lord made with the, with the forefather Abraham, man. And guess what? Through a certain line, a certain seed. Because remember, Abraham had eight sons. 
But there was a particular line, a seed the Lord was dealing with. That's why we come from the forefathers, Abraham. Abraham had Isaac. Isaac had Jacob. And Jacob was the, forefather, um, the father of the 12 patriarchs, man. That's it. You heed the nation can't repent, man. The Lord don't change. The Heavenly Father don't change. His son don't change, man. But you people don't get about this, man. Hebrews 13 and 8. Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, the same yesterday and today and forever. That's it, man. The Heavenly Father don't change. The Son don't change. They think alike. They're like-minded. They have the same judgment. All right? Acts 5 and 30. The power of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai. The power of our fathers is Yahweh, whom ye slew and hanged on the tree. He was, hey, they, in this Acts 5, they was talking about they was talking to the Israelites. Okay? Because Israel a, a turned on our Lord, man. They wanted Barabbas. They cried for a thief, a robber. You see? They rejected the Lord. Just as you have those in this time today, they're rejecting the Lord also, man. All right? 31. Him have the Most High exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a what? And savior for to give repentance to who? Israel and forgiveness of sins. Amen. So it was only repentance only given to Israel and the forgiveness of sins only given to the nation of Israel, man. And in this time, it starts with the elect. The heathens can't repent, man. Okay. Jeremiah 3 and 23. It say, truly in vain is salvation hoped for from the hills and from the multitude of mountains, governments, truly in the Lord our salvation. So like it, truly in the Lord, Yahweh, our power is, sal is the salvation of who? Israel. Okay? The other nations can't repent, man. Point blank, period. Right? Answer this question right here. If the Lord don't change, right? Why did the Lord say this? Deuteronomy 23 and 2. A bastard should not enter into the congregation of the Lord. Even to his tenth generation shall he not enter into the congregation of the Lord. An Ammonite or Moabite shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord. Even to their tenth generation shall they not enter into the congregation of the Lord forever. So the Lord changed his mind about that? Hmm? At the end of the day, Esau and the other nations are going into slavery. And they're going to build up the kingdom of heaven. And after that hardcore bondage of slavery, according to Obadiah, the Lord going to destroy all the Edomites. And the rest of the dead, right, the other heathen, the Lord, the Lord going to allow them, right, to go to, to go to their particular lands and be in the subject and tribute to Yahweh Shem Yahweh slaves. All right, following the order of the law, statute, and commandments, we're going to beat it in them and teach them, right? But Esau going to be destroyed. So what are you talking about, man? When you go back to, um, let's finish it with this, man. And we do this for the defense of the gospel, man, because you bug ass ain't going to get it. A lot of you guys are set up, man, by Esau to teach these lies. And a lot of you guys are just truly bugged out. You have no understanding, man. But we're going to defend the gospel. We're going to teach the word so the elect, those who are sincere... They can see these um, lessons and be edified, man. Okay? Baruch 2 and 34. It says, and I, will and I will bring them again into the land, which I promised with an oath, see, unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and they shall be lords of it, and I will increase them, and they shall not be diminished. See, we're going to be lords of the land. The Israelites are going to be lords of the land, man. Okay, new landlords, man. Verse 35, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their power, possessive, and they shall be my people, and I will no more drive my people of Israel out of the land that I have given them. See, I see our land right now is dirty, man. It's defiled. That's why those missiles got to hit over there. The Lord going to purge that whole land with fire, man. And you heathens, right? These heathen nations, according to Isaiah, the 60th chapter, around the 10th verse, they're going to build up the kingdom of heaven, man. 
And we're going to be lords of the land. We're going to rule over the heathen. That's the Lord Yahweh Shai promised in Revelation, the second chapter. Those that overcome. He will give power over the nations, man. So what are you talking about, man? Esau, all these other heathens, they can't repent because the law was never given to them. The Lord was never dealing with them, man. Psalm 149. This is Hebrew 101, man. So, Lord, well, let's, let's edify and exhort and give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, Shalom, Kwame Sharala, to the elect.